Hello people, welcome back to my Pokemon Black Nuzlocke. This is episode 11. Uh, last episode was pretty bad. We lost two Pokemon, uh, that was Cho and Molly. And so I looked up critical hits because Cho lost, uh, she died after uh, Eliza's and Molga did a critical hit on it. And I thought critical hits did 1.5 times the normal damage. So I thought Cho could take a critical hit, which is why I didn't heal her. But then I looked up critical hits and it turns out the 1.5 times damage is true for gen generation six and up. For generations five and earlier, critical hits does two times the damage. And so that is where I screwed up. I had the wrong multiplier for critical hits. So yeah, and Cho had to pay for that. Um, so at the end of last episode, we took a peek in over at Route 5 and that's where we lost Molly. But then we also caught Minerva there. And then we went to the Driftville drawbridge and caught Luna. So I think this episode will be all about training them. So yeah, I'm gonna do some grinding. I'll give Luna the smoke ball in case we run into anything we don't want to fight. And I'll get to grinding. Okay, I have trained Luna up to level 27 here, you can see. Uh, so she learned Air Slash, I replaced Feather Dance with Air Slash. And she wanted to learn Aqua Ring, but I don't think the amount of HP you get back from Aqua Ring was worth it. So I decided to pass on that. Uh, here are her stats if you want to look at them. And yeah. 
That took a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, I still have to train Minerva. But uh, right now, I need to take a break. I've got to eat lunch, so I'll be back in a bit to continue with the grinding. And I'm back. I just finished my lunch, so now I can continue on with the grinding. Uh, so I realized I didn't say why I was going for level 27 here. Uh, it was because the Emolgas at Aliza's gym were level 25, and so I thought we should be two levels above that. It should be good. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna train Minerva, so get to grinding. Okay, so Minerva's having a hard time uh, getting experience here. I think because she doesn't have any type advantage against these Pokemon in the desert. And probably she's, well, she's already evolved, so that probably means she needs more experience to level up. So I'm gonna stop at level 25 for now. Here are her stats. Um, so next, I remember there were many trainers that we kind of avoided and we didn't take on from earlier. I think maybe we can go back and try to fight those guys. So for example, here in Castelia City, we've got the three dancing dudes with their monkeys. So maybe we could take them on. Here's the first dancing guy. So the thing is, um, Luna has type advantage over fire, of course, and her, her flying moves also have a, an advantage over water. So it's just grass she has a problem with. I think 
Neville also has a problem with grass. Let me double check that. Uh, yeah, Neville also has a problem with grass. But Minerva does not, so Minerva is like neutral when it comes to grass. I think Minerva is neutral when it comes to all three of the types, grass, water, fire. So maybe we could get some training from, from fighting them. I'm going to take the smoke ball back. And yeah, maybe we'll, we'll try. Okay, I have no idea who has which type, so I'm gonna just go for it and see. Hey, trainer! Show me your paces! Give me a whirl! Okay. Alright! A fight is like a dance! Imagine if you had no idea this was a battle, and you were just like, Oh yeah, I'll dance with you, and it's like, uh, battle. Okay, first is grass, okay. So we have Minerva for that. Try fake out first. Some pretty good damage. I'll try pursuit. And bam, just like that. My movements lack power. All right, let's get down. How about that? Those were, some, those were some smooth moves, no doubt. But it'd be even tighter if I had a group. Hey, you. Would you talk to the other dancers? If you invite both of them, the three of us can groove as a team. Same outfit as me. That guy's a dancer. Why can't you go ask them yourself? Okay, I think they were over here. Or maybe it was the other street. Oh yeah, I think it was the other street. Oh well. Alright, and here we go. Yep, there he is. So I still don't know which type he has. I guess Luna will be good against both of them. But I'm gonna leave Minerva out in front so maybe she can get a bit of experience in this so okay hello there do you need something what you're looking for dancers for a team it sounds very interesting but i don't want to do a favor for someone who isn't stronger than me hey let's have a battle okay okay let's begin Pan poor. I think we'll just do the same attacks as with the pan sage earlier. Just fake out. And now pursuit. Yep, did it again. My footwork was not quite sharp. You're going to create a dance team, aren't you? It sounds very interesting. I'd like to join up. Okay, and there he goes. Okay, so one more dancing monkey guy. He's going to have a pan seer, right? The fire one. Uh, so Luna definitely has type advantage over that. But like before, I'm going to leave Minerva in the front. Try to get some experience for her. What do you want? Oh, the dance team? You're going to introduce me to the team. Oh, then before that, let's have a Pokemon battle. Okay. I was great in Pokemon lessons. All right. You have a pants here. All right, same strategy as before. Fake out. And now pursuit. And we got it just like the other two. Awesome. 
I was off the beat. I have to start up my lessons again. What was that? Oh, the dance team. I will join the dance team. Okay, cool. Let's go to the Pokemon Center first. Uh, heal up any like PP that we lost. So I guess we go back and talk to them in the center here, center of the city. Yeah, the street was very long. And here they are, little dance team. Thanks man, I've got the best team in the world here. That's how I feel. Oh, I got an amulet coin, cool. I don't know what that does. We communicate by dancing. It's how we say happy things, sad things, how we say the world shines brightly. Okay. Dancers dance, the audience smiles, hearts beat with joy. Enough happiness to share. I've got what I needed to find in my dance. A team, fantastic. Okay, cool. All right, so we go, let's go back up to route four. Um, if you recall, uh, okay, yeah, but if you recall, there were a few, uh, fishermen trainers I avoided on Route 4, because the Pokemon I had at the time were all weak against the water, um, but now since, oh, we have Luna and Minerva. Whenever once again is neutral, but needs experience. So I think that's, we could uh, try her out against them. If we can get away from the Scraggy first. Oh, I took the smoke ball away. I don't know if, if I'll be able to run away. So I guess I'll s switch over to Luna. Uh. Okay, I don't like being confused. Now we're gonna just run. All right. Okay. So let's check out these fishermen dudes. Looks like there are two of them. Yep. All right. Here's the first one. You've been caught by a powerful hook, which is me. That sounds a little creepy, but okay. I'll have a battle with you using my freshly caught Pokemon. Alrighty. It's got two Pokemon. Basculin, okay. Okay, we're gonna try the same, exact same strategies that we used against the monkeys. So fake out, and then they will flinch. And then we'll use Pursuit. Oh, they're faster than us. Okay. Alright. Here's another Basculin. Can we fake out again? Oh no. Okay, bite, bite is okay. Yeah, so I think fake out only works if it's the very first move of the f entire battle. Um, I'm gonna heal her up. Chip away. Okay, I, have, I don't know what chip away exactly was. All right, so back to pursuit. 
Ooh, just chip away again. Okay, we're faster though, right? We can pursue it. Yeah, okay. And bam, fisherman down. And Minerva's level 26? Bone claws, okay. So boost attack and accuracy. Sounds good. I have not used torment at all, so I'm gonna replace that. Oh no! The one who was caught was me! <laughs> Alright, fisherman dude. I'm going to give the smoke ball back to Minerva in case we run into any wild Pokemon we don't want. Oh, an amulet coin. Okay, well maybe we'll give Minerva that after we finish healing. And we run away from this guy. Back to that fisherman. Okay, so I'm gonna change Minerva's item to the amulet coin. Okay, so now if we win, we should get a bit more money. Okay, good catch, good catch. My next catch will be called Victory. Alright. He has four Pokemon? It looks like they're all Basculin. Is he like the Magikarp guy of this generation? But Basculin actually do damage. Oh man, okay. Okay, so that did about 20 damage. Some other basculin. Uh, I think we'll take a turn to use Hone Claws. Should be able to take this hit. Yes, okay. Okay, now to potion. Okay, I only have six hyper potions. Headbutt. Okay. And now we use Pursuit. We really need another dark type move. A damage dealing dark type move. And BAM! The home claws were very helpful there. Okay, his third Basculin. Alright, we're gonna Pursuit again. How oh, we're faster than you this time. Oh, so close to one hit KO! Okay, Bite we can take. We can take Bite. And you are down. Okay. Last last basculine. I think I'm gonna potion up because their aqua jet does about 20 damage. I think a little less than 20, but I'll just round up to 20. 
And if they land a critical hit, Minerva will be like right on the line, surviving with one HP. And then there's the Sandstorm that will probably take her out. So I'm gonna give her this potion. Oh, he used Headbutt. Okay, well, we will use Pursuit once more. And Basculin is down. And we're level 27! That's the level we wanted to train to. The victory that got away was this big. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna give her the smoke ball back. And then we'll go heal, and I suppose I should go buy some more potions. There's that parasol lady though, still. Um, I think I looked her up, I think she only has a temple. And if that's the case, I think that we could take her on without needing to buy more potions. Especially since we also have Luna. Let's go to the parasol lady. There she is. Oh, well, maybe I'll have Luna go fight. Uncle Neville, Neville has done nothing this episode. <laughs> but that's all right. Okay, let's go for it, parasol lady. I can't see up ahead because of the sandstorm. Because I can't see, I'll have a battle with you! That makes no sense. If you can't see, you probably shouldn't start fighting someone. Oh, she has two Pokemon, okay. I thought she only had one. But the first one is indeed a temple. Okay, we are going to Air Slash. Bam, one hit KO. All right. Oh, it's another temple. Okay. We will air slash you also. And bam, all right. And just like that, we defeated the parasol lady. Okay. Okay, so yeah, there's an item right here. A great ball. Okay. So we will go heal once more. And then go back up to Route 5. So I think there were a ton of trainers up on Route 5 also that I avoided. Um, I think we'll maybe go fight them. Yeah, I guess this episode will all be all about grinding and training. Um, so yeah, training against wild Pokemon, training against other trainers. So yeah, it's probably a boring episode to watch. But hey, we are preparing our Pokemon for whatever comes next. Okay, we are here on Route 5. Uh, I have no idea what Pokemon these people have. So I guess I'll just keep Luna out in front. Because why not? She also has the amulet coin, so... Do you fight? Oh yes. These Pokemon usually help me bake. Today, they'll help me battle you. Okay. 
Got three Pokemon. Pansier. Is it gonna be the three monkeys again? Or is it gonna be three fire types? I would like it if they were all three fire types. It also makes sense with the baking too. Like why would you need a, like a pan sage for baking? Oh, but it is the three monkeys. Oh man, okay. Air slash. Uh, okay. Stop, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Okay. Come on, air slash again. All right. Oh, that wasn't enough, okay. Please stop with your fury swipes. Oh, five times. Okay, we're gonna aerial ace. Okay. Now we have one more monkey left, and it is the monkey Luna is weak against, so we are sending out Minerva. Okay, so I don't think Fake Out will work. Now we avoided Fury Swipes, that's cool, so we'll just Pursuit, I guess. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. I like that. But I don't like the Leech Seed. Did about 10 damage. It's okay, we got it though, I think. Yep, we got it. Alright. Oh my, it was a tasty battle. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. And I just remembered I once again did not stock up on potions. So, I will do that too. Okay, we're back on Route 5. I'm gonna come see what's in here. Just a person. Hi, I am a humble maid. My master has a big heart to match his big belly. He's a gourmet. So... I am looking for ingredients that will make his heart jump for joy. Sniff, 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 sniff. Oh, that aroma! It smells so gourmet! Do you have a wonderful ingredient in your bag? Would you consider selling it to me? Uh, oh, is it the big root? No. I don't know. What, what is this ingredient? It's not going to be any of these, right? Berries? Let me look this up. Okay, I have no idea. Apparently she wants a mushroom. But we don't have any mushrooms. The closest thing to food I see I have is this big root, which I am not giving to her. Maybe a miracle seed? Because we have two. Uh... I don't know, maybe we'll try one? Hmm, this is not quite what I'm looking for. I don't think my master will be satisfied with such a smell. Okay, yeah, well, I don't think I have what you want. Alright, back here. Uh, we have all these guys. Hello. I will show you all the moves that my Pokemon have mastered! Okay. Yeah. Harlequin, Paul, Whirlipede, okay, Got some bug types, oh like at the bug gym, they all had Harlequin, uh, trainers were all Harlequins there, I guess maybe this guy also works there, anyways, we have Luna who knows Air Slash, and Luna just turned to level 28. Another Whirlipede, okay. Well, we can kill it just the same as last time. Oh, okay, they use Protect. All right, fine. We'll kill you on the next turn. Again? I can use Protect twice in a row. Okay, we'll kill you now. Finally, okay. I 
Bang Bam. I'm sorry that I underestimated you and your Pokemon's moves. Okay. Alright, there's still all these guys. There's another dancer dude. These three kids. I fought this old guy last time. Looks like there's a backpacker up there. How about you? Hum fiercely! My battle song! Battle fiercely! My Pokemon! Okay, two Pokemon. Blitzel! Okay, we are switching Luna out. Definitely switching her out into Neville. Some. Oh no! Oh, oh, thank goodness. Okay. Oh my god, that scared me for a sec. The pursuit. Alright, cool. So Neville finally gets to come out to play in this episode. This little sand tune. I think this is also his first fight as a Krokorok. Huh. I don't know. Okay, another Blitzel. We'll just sand to him again. Bam. Bam. There's a rhythm to attacking and defending. I think ours got thrown off. In battling you, I came to understand. You're the best. Here, this is for you. Electric guitar? Oh, and the prop case, okay. If you want your Pokemon to hold this electric guitar, go to the musical theater. Cooler than cool. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna run back to the Pokemon Center because that pursuit did a bit of damage. And yeah, I'll be back. Okay, we're back on Route 5. So I think it's these three kids and this dancer guy we still have to fight. Turn around and it's my turn! Turn around and it's your turn! Okay. Interesting. He's got two Pokemon. Darumaka. Well, good thing we have Luna out in the front. Okay, Bubble Beam. Another Darumaka. Well, we'll just bubble beam again. And bam. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Okay. Okay, just you three left. What do you want? The Pokemon and the performers all have amazing moves. Oh, that's it? You do not fight? The street performers are my favorites. They're so charming. I think being able to make people smile is a super awesome talent. That's why Pokemon are so awesome. Because they can make you smile. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, so we fought you two last time. You two were the ones who killed Molly. Hello, you there. It's tremendous that people in Pokemon, each so different, can acknowledge each other and be together. Okay. Let's go up on the grass and uh, battle. Okay, I see a trainer hiding behind the trees right there. She looks like a backpacker who I think have rock types. So we're going to go in with Luna. This big pack. What do you think is inside? I don't know. Camping tools, maybe? Climbing tools? Backpacking tools? He has a Muna. Okay, well, it looks like I, this battle is for Minerva then. Alright, Minerva, let's go. 
Hypnosis? Oi. Uh, I guess we'll just try. Okay, this is the first turn we're asleep. Okay, that's fine. Second turn we're asleep. So I believe you sleep for two to five turns. And so that was the second turn. This is. Oh! We woke up. We only slept two turns. One hit KO. I lost, but I have more things to add to my bag. Like a dead Muna. Alright, let's see what this item is. Another Great Ball, okay. So... Gothita? Hmm, we probably could have caught one of you last time. But we caught Minerva, which is fine with me. Wait. Rubbish. Okay, I just want to get to that other trainer. So I'm gonna keep running from all of- Ugh, uh, We can't get away. Okay. Uh, I'll try running away again. Still no? Acid spray. Special defense went down. Okay, well, I guess, I guess we're fighting, um, that bubble beam, toxic spikes, that's alright, as long as we don't move. Okay, bubble beam again. Oh, you're so close, you're so close to killing it. One more bubble beam. Okay. That's what happens when you don't let us run away. Alright, here's a trainer. Here's some dark grass. Alright. As my mind roams, as the wind blows, destiny has brought us to this battle. Okay, he's only got one Pokemon. A Palpitoad. Okay, I don't know how to fight against you. I'm gonna just try air slashing because you look like you're water. Okay, air slash. Okay, air slash did a good amount of damage. Uproar. Oh, yeah. That was a lot of damage. But we killed it this turn. Yep, okay, we're good. Luna's level 29. Okay. Let's see, there's an item right here. A revive. That's not very helpful in those locks. There's another item over there. Okay, I'm gonna put Minerva out in front because she has the smoke ball. Got a zinc, okay. We almost got out of the dark grass without any encounters. And now there's a little Mincino. Gonna run. Another wild Pokemon. Alright, the Trubbish last time wouldn't let us run, but we have a smoke ball now, so we fled. Okay, I think that's all the trainers on this route. I could. I think I'll go heal first um, over in Nimbasa City. I have no idea what's gonna happen, and is it Drift Vale? Like the next city, so I didn't. Yeah, so I didn't look up what happens when I get to the city. So 
Just in case there are some fights, I'm gonna come heal over here in Mombasa. Okay, back on Route 5. Gonna go across this Driftvale drawbridge. And... Yeah. Hopefully there are no battles when I get to Driftvale City. But we'll see. Pretty long bridge. We're still running. Still running through it. Alright, got to the other end. Driftville City, okay. So, how about the city's pride and joy? The drawbridge? We also call it the Charizard Bridge due to its elegant form. <laughs> okay. Alright. We're in Driftville City. Oh, and there is Sharon. I think that's the gym leader of this city. Um, he's a ground type. So good thing we have Luna. Um, hmm. I don't know if Sharon's gonna fight right now. I feel like we fought him. We fought him on Route 5, right? So we were just there, so he shouldn't fight now. Let's see what's up. Hmm. So you're the trainer's Elise I was talking about, huh? I'm Clay. I'm the gym leader around these parts. Don't be expecting no welcome now. Cause when we lowered that bridge, the Team Plasma guys we caught done escaped in all the ruckus. What a bother. We're grateful that you lowered the bridge, but how is it our fault that they escaped? You can say whatever you want. But what's important is y'all showed up and then Team Plasma escaped. Maybe it's a little heavy handed, but you oughta start looking for Team Plasma too. You're both talented tra trainers, aren't ya? Tell you what, if you find Team Plasma, I'll let you challenge my gym. Life's all about give and take. Alright. Well, I suppose that's fair, but really, we would have looked for Team Plasma even if he hadn't asked. I can get stronger while beating that bothersome bunch. Conch, I'll go on ahead. Alright, bye Sharon. Okay, um... Those Team Plasma meanies forced me to battle them. And when I lost, they stole my Pokemon! Okay, I'm gonna talk in these houses, see if there's any, any freebies. Oh, the trainer, even if your Pokemon's items are taken away, don't worry, they'll be returned to you safely after the battle. Okay. I work in the cold storage. The cold storage is in the southernmost part of the city. I believe we can catch another Pokemon there. I also believe that's where Team Plasma is. Hey, uh, the professor gave you a Pokemon to start your journey, right? If that Pokemon is still with you, and if you have, to, to, and if you two have a strong bond, there's a special move it can learn. Want me to teach it a battle combo move? Yeah, I don't really have my Snivy with me anymore, but let's see. I can't teach these Pokemon. Yeah. Okay. Water Pledge, Fire Pledge, and Grass Pledge. Uh, those are the moves. When I win, it's because of my Pokemon. When I lose, it's because of me. That's how I always think. If you get conceited, you get sloppy fast. Hey there, trainer. Have you ever battled the Elite Four of the Pokemon League? You can't battle them unless you have 8 gym badges, right? On the other side of the ocean, there are a lot of different people and a lot of different Pokemon, aren't there? Okay. It's a market, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. What do you sell? Oh, you're sold out. Charles guy? 
Okay, so you have an item behind your counter. Straight from the farm. Moo Moo Milk. Moo Moo Milk. Uh, uh, let me check uh, how much HP it heals. 100. Yeah, sure. That's a better deal than the hyper potions. Um, yeah, all right, I'll take a dozen, I guess. Ooh, got some moo moo milk. Okay, what do you guys sell? Medicinal herbs. Okay. Well, this energy root was an even better deal than that moo moo milk. Yeah, okay, I'll take some. Okay. Do you sell the same thing? Okay. You, glad you came. You want something good? Then show me a Pokemon level 30 or more. Oh, you, not so good yet. After training Pokemon, come back here again. Okay. So you have something behind you. Uh, I have to figure out how to get there. Hello there, person on the bike. I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. I wanted to get the attention of a girl I like, so I learned a new style of Pokemon battling. Its name, Rotation Battle. Want to learn about it? No, I do not. I don't like Rotation Battle. Wait, oh, here we go. Let's grab this item. A big pearl. Okay. I believe it's cold storage is down there. Just gonna run around the streets a little. Here's the Pokemon Center. I think the gym is up here. Or not. Four searching for legendary Pokemon. Okay. What is this? Just a bunch of people hanging around. What are you guys all doing here? What's the point of this house? They keep talking about this entry link. Okay. Yeah, I don't use that, so goodbye. It looks like that exits the city. Where's the gym then? Here it is. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna go to the cold storage. Uh, you catch a Pokemon, maybe deal with Team Plasma a little. Um, or maybe I'll save that for next episode. This episode has been going on for a while. Um, or I don't know, I've been, I've been recording for a long while, but most of it was just grinding. I don't know how long the episode will be once I uh, speed up those parts, but I've been recording for a long time, so I guess I'll just end the episode here. And in the next episode, we'll go into the cold storage, try to find Team Plasma, and uh, maybe catch another Pokemon there. And yeah, okay. See ya.